हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रॉक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द रॉक्स देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रॉक्स बेस्ड ऑन फॉर्मेशन रॉक साइकिल द कॉन्टीन्यूस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग रॉक फॉर्मेशन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ रॉक्स इन अर्थ इको First of all moving on to the introduction of the rocks the earth's crust consists of rocks which are aggregates of one or more minerals rocks can range in hardness color and composition for instance while granite is hard and gabbro is black soapstone is soft and quartzite can be milky white the composition of rocks is not fixed however feldspar and quartz are commonly found in many rocks Now moving on to classification of rocks based on formation. First is igneous rock. Igneous rocks originate from molten materials that upon cooling solidify. When this molten material is below the earth's surface, it's referred to as magma. Once this magma breaches the earth's surface, often during volcanic eruptions, it's called lava. The swift cooling of lava can lead to the formation of rocks. with a glassy texture such as obsidian these rocks commonly form deep within the earth or at specific locations like mid ocean ridges and geothermal hot spots examples include granite basalt and pegmatite next are sedimentary rocks it is derived from the latin word sedimentum indicating settling sedimentary rocks are composed of particles that have detached from other rocks primarily due to the process of weathering there are two main types of weathering physical which results in rock particles breaking off and chemical which dissolves rocks into their fundamental elements the fragments forming sedimentary rocks can come from various sources including igneous metamorphic or other sedimentary rocks these rock fragments typically travel and gather in depressions such as lakes or seas and over time accumulate compact and turn into solid rock sedimentary rocks can offer clues about their deposition environment for instance rocks with preserved leaf fossils likely formed in calm waters classified into mechanically formed example sandstone shale organically formed example coal limestone and chemically formed example potash halite metamorphic rocks their name signifies a change of form metamorphic rocks are those that have undergone significant changes typically due to external pressures and temperatures these transformative rocks usually emerge in areas of the earth that are geologically active common formation areas include mountain ranges regions close to magma chambers and zones where tectonic plates subduct beneath others marble a popular example is essentially limestone that has been transformed it's crucial to note that any rock type even other metamorphic varieties can undergo metamorphism when subjected to the appropriate conditions types include contact metamorphism rocks recrystallize when in contact with magma or lava regional metamorphism recrystallization due to tectonic pressures or significant temperature or pressure changes structures like foliation or banding might appear in these rocks examples encompass genesis slate and marble now let's have a look at the rock cycle the continuous transformation represents a perpetual process where old rocks evolve into new forms igneous rocks being primary give rise to other rock types sedimentary rocks can emerge from fragments of both igneous and metamorphic rocks rock fragments can turn into sedimentary rocks through tectonic processes some rocks might subduct into the mantle melt and eventually become magma restarting the cycle now let's discuss about factors influencing rock formation and transformation external factors like erosion weathering and deposition play a vital role in the formation of sedimentary rocks internal earth dynamics such as tectonic plate movements volcanic activities 
and magma cooling are crucial for igneous and metamorphic rock formations. The depths at which rocks form and the rate of cooling influence their texture and composition. Now let's discuss about significance of rocks. Significance of igneous rocks. Metal ore association. Magma being a primary source of metal ores means that many valuable ores are linked with igneous formations. Valuable minerals. Igneous rocks harbor minerals of immense economic importance including but not limited to nickel, magnetic iron, copper, lead, zinc, chromite, manganese, gold, diamond and platinum. Amygdales formation within basalt almond shaped pockets called amygdales can form due to gas release and these pockets often get filled with valuable minerals. Indian Peninsula Reserves The ancient rock structures of the Indian Peninsula are especially rich in crystallized minerals and metals. And construction potential Certain igneous rocks like granite boast both aesthetic appeal and durability making them prime candidates for construction and decorative purposes. Economic importance of sedimentary rocks Mineral wealth While sedimentary rocks are not as mineral rich as igneous counterparts, they still contain valuable minerals such as hematite, iron ore, phosphates and materials vital for cement production. Energy reserves The decomposition of minuscule marine organisms over time produces petroleum which is found in specific sedimentary structures. Source of specific minerals Noteworthy minerals including bauxite, manganese and tin, although originating from different rock types, often end up in the gravels and sands transported by water and deposit as sedimentary rocks. Soil formation Some of the most fertile soils arise from the breakdown of sedimentary rocks contributing to agriculture. Economic value of metamorphic rocks Gemstones Many precious and semi-precious gemstones such as sapphire, garnet and kyanite are found in metamorphic rocks. Building and decorative materials Marble, a metamorphosed limestone, is extensively used in both construction and sculpture, valued for its beauty and durability. Industrial minerals Talc, used in a variety of cosmetic and industrial applications, originates from metamorphosed siliceous rocks. Slate industry Slate, a metamorphic rock, is heavily utilized for roofing and tiles due to its ability to split into thin, durable plates. Metamorphic belts These regions rich in metamorphosed minerals often act as guides for explorers and miners in search of valuable ore deposits. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims based question. Sedimentary rocks can be formed by all of the following processes except compaction of rock fragments over time, the recrystallization of rocks when in contact with magma, accumulation of particles detached from other rocks due to weathering or the chemical dissolution of rocks. And now mains question. Explain the three major groups of rocks along with their subtypes which are found in Earth's lithosphere. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.